Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placement in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Egun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Williams, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's get into it. So the very first thing I see, like off in this corner, is a lot of red, so it's root chakra. So what's on your mind is some money, all right? So we got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, the... Uh, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, and then underneath the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is the Hierophant, all right? This little quadrant without the fourth card <laughs> uh, is what is on your mind, what you should be focused on, okay? So give me a second. Let me put these back. All right, this um, Hierophant energy is giving me a lot of Taurus energy. Um, Taurus governs uh, the Hierophant. So it's asking you to be steady in your efforts, steady in your efforts. It's definitely talking about, you know, um, structure, um, rules and different things like that. But it's like a, a steadiness. Don't stop. Just don't stop. Because the eight of pentacles in the reverse is saying, you know, this is the energy that you want to stay away from, which is the lack of focus. Right. Because lack of focus can make you miss an opportunity. So here. Let me get into your first row. We got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, the Nine of Wands in the upright, and the Fool in the upright. Okay, guys, this is your discipline, your determination, okay? This is, I've been hurt, but I don't give a fuck. I'm going to keep going. And because I have that attitude, I get a brand new start. It's like I'm literally starting my life over. Your life just, it's brand new, fresh start. Today, we got the fool in the upright instead of the reverse. This kind of energy is now supporting you, okay? For you to keep going, all right? And keep your guard up at this time. Um, give me one sec, because you guys have um, a lot of nines. I have two spreads for you out here. I have your tarot to my left and Orisha spread to my right. And in your tarot, I have 99. And in your Orisha spread, I have the number 99. I have it with the nine of wands and the nine of swords. So these are two energies that you are like sort of feeling at the same time, but tap more into this and less into this. This is anxiety, okay? And if you tap into your perseverance and your strength, which your angels and guides are telling me, you are very strong. You're very, very strong. And it's because of your strength that you get this fresh start, this new beginning. And see, so going um, vertically underneath the fool is the eight of wands and then the six of swords. See, so it's, it's really time for you to move on. And this is a delay. This is like, you know, skydiving, jumping off. Okay, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm ready to do whatever it is that's on my heart, on my mind, or what my intuition is guiding me to. And I'm ready to move on. And the thing is, yes, I may feel some of the swords of the past, but I'm moving on anyway. But don't delay. There's no need for a delay. You know, take that exciting energy and then put this in the upright and just move on, move forward. Okay? So, um, you other than like the 99 um, number that we see, you also have 88 uh, with the, um, come on now, Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, okay? But both are in reverse, but we need them to get upright, all right? Um, yes, so from, you need to focus because there are opportunities that are coming your way that you don't want to miss with that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Hierophant is asking you um, to be steady, steady in your efforts. Don't stop, okay? The death card is here. Death card sits over um, the hangman. So that's actually like, because of some sort of realization or perspective change, something finally ends. Like you actually see why it has to end, whatever that is for you. For some of you with uh, the Hierophant sitting next to the death card, it's like I'm done working for a corporation because uh, Hierophant sometimes represents 
organizations um, or churches, you know, traditional structures. Okay. So this could be, I'm leaving a business, leaving the church, leaving whatever that is for you. Um, yeah, there's this death here in order to, to, to actually take part. You got two aces here, ace of pentacles and the ace of wands. And they're sitting um, adjacent to each other, but they're in the reverse. So what it's really telling me is, is that, um, Guys, you really are going to be um, offered an opportunity. Don't miss it. Don't miss it out of fear. Don't miss it uh, from anxiety, you know, or wasted energy. Your uh, ancestors are here. They've been coming out a lot in the Four of Wands for me. I really just feel like ancestors, especially with the hangman, because it's asking you to, you know, change your perspective, but also hangman represents other realms, okay? And then I have the four of wands here with your ancestors. They see you at night. They, they see you at night up late, worried. They see you. And, they, and that's this is their message to tell you to move on from that. Move on. It's not like it never happened. They know what happened happened. But we can't do anything about the past, guys. It's, I mean, like, it's not, it's not worth it. Not with all this money you're about to uh, have. If it's not about the money, y'all don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. If it ain't about the money. All right. Cause here, let's uh, get over to the right over here with your Orisha spread. Got 99 again. I told you this time they're, they're in the upright, just like they are over here. You got the nine of earth. You see her planting seeds. This is the nine of pentacles. You also have the nine of water, like the nine of cups. These are great cards to have. Really good cards to have. And I'm going to read you um, the Nine of Earth in a minute. Now, there is an issue here. So this ending, whether it be with a job or relationship, comes out more like a relationship over here to my right. Okay? Um, yeah. Because we have the Karma card sitting next to the Two of Water, which would be like the Two of Cups. But the Two of Cups or the Two of Water is in the reverse. This relationship is a karmic relationship, okay? Now, the funny thing is the energy around love is a little bit weird over here, okay? So I got this nine of water at the top of the deck sitting over a female as shoe at the bottom. Now, she's wrapped up in a heart, okay? And these are like flirty, love, seductive feelings that female as shoe is bringing. Um, be careful of that. The only reason why I say that is because I have salamanders here, right? Salamanders is related for me, and very, I mean, it very well could be. I'm not looking up the meaning of the card right now, um, but it, salamanders are on the king of wands, okay? So this is giving me um, fiery energy, wand energy. So be careful with giving your love to king of wands type people, okay? They could really make you feel like we have a relationship going, but honestly, they are, you know, they are for whoever they feel like being, you know, with. Okay. So you could recognize that in a current partner, or you could be in danger of attracting that. Why I say that is there is something here concerning loneliness. Okay. And guys, I want you don't be, a, don't let loneliness, um, feel like a threat to you. Loneliness is not a threat. I, we, I know as human beings, we are wired to be social, but there are times where being alone is critical for your survival or critical for your being able to build because there is nothing but like foundation here, foundations and structures, right? Sometimes there are people in your life that do not see or understand where your life has to go. And you have to be the one to be able to establish that without any kind of outside influence. And until you do that, it's not safe to sort of let in um, other energies that will uh, influence you in a negative way, okay? So here, let, I'm gonna read you the meanings of the nine of earth and the four of air. Give me a second, I don't know where I put that book. Okay, so the nine of earth says, nine of earth, this woman, this woman has adopted that position, the position she's in right now, planning things by herself, 
adopted that position because she prefers solitude to the incompatibility of those who could not understand her. For time was, run was running away. For time was running away and it was necessary to provide for the future. She prefers to go away. She herself with her wisdom upon noticing the danger, but without false pride, cultivates a virgin land with love in order to enjoy its fruits later. Mmm. Okay. So, man, I like that. And it's, it's smart. She's smart because she's recognizing what's going on with people around me. You know, what's really going on? Just because everybody say I'm supposed to be dating somebody or I should be married by now or how come you're not hanging out? What do you do for fun? All that bullshit. Okay, my life ain't about living for the weekend. It's about where the hell, what do I want? What am I here for? What am I trying to build? Okay, don't let people do that. You know, it's funny, I've gotten that. Like, uh, I remember connecting with an old coworker and she, what do you do? What the fuck you worried about what I do for? You see what I do, okay? I got a job that I'm working on for myself. Don't, that all of that kind of stuff people do is out of, um, Low-key jealousy and sometimes, uh, you know, really just to pull you away from the things that you are setting up for yourself to try to put in new ideas and different ideas. Don't let nobody do that. So then we got the four of air, four of air in reverse. Here, let me show you. Four of air says. Four of air says dangerous situation or place. Your position is completely unfavorable. There is no escape, no chance of doing anything since you are being attacked from all sides. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. This is the upright meaning. Um, let me reread and give you the reverse. It says illness, convalescence, need of rest and cure, wounds and sorrows caused by loneliness. Nobody understands or remembers you, right? So I feel like for those of you you may feel like I'm so alone. Nobody knows I exist. Nobody is seeing about me, right? That's an attitude you've taken when this is the real attitude you should be taking. And when you take this sort of somber attitude, it opens you up to illness, danger. Because she said, I, I went away because I recognized the danger. Now, you don't recognize the danger and you take this loneliness in another sort of way. This opens you up to illness. Now, we're talking about these variants that are, you know, spreading and multiplying in 50 different ways, you know. And then you also have this sexual energy here. And I would hate, you know, for STDs and stuff to start flowing and spreading around. Because, it's you know, one minute it's like, damn, I was lonely. And now I freaking got, you know, this thing because I called up so-and-so at the wrong time, you know? And so trust your intuition when it comes to things like that, because there are so many nines. Now, it, I wish I was deeper into astrology and I'm studying, but there are reasons for when cards and stuff, it's astrological. Some stuff you have no control over. There are certain times, you know, in astrology during seasons and things where it's not the best thing to do to be social and to be out and about. Sometimes there are dangerous, um, what do they call them? Not conjunctions, because those some of those things could be good, but I, like squares. When, when something is squared, sometimes it's a, a dangerous time, you know, like a, a challenging time. So if your intuition is telling you, just focus and kind of block people out, do that for however long your intuition is telling you. Do that for however long, every time I meet somebody, they the wrong somebody. That's just what it is. It's just what it is. Because what they're trying to do right now is make sure your foundation is built. Your ancestors and guys are probably literally blocking people away from you, making people not see you. Okay? So you need to trust them. Trust them because you're about to be happy about something. Something you do. It's a lot you're going to be pulling up. Look at this net. How much fish it's going to bring up. On its own. Because it's a nine. It's a nine. And then you'll get your Ten of Cups after. But, you know, do what you're capable of doing now. Get this money. All right? I know life ain't all about money, but it helps. It helps a lot. <laughs> so, all right, guys. That's what I have for you. If it resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. 
If you want to book a personal reading with me, the link to book is in the description box below. Don't forget to check out my new channel, Prince of Peace Tarotcast. The link for the new channel is also in the description box below. Uh, the current Patreon playlist is in the description box below. Uh, if you would like to join in on the next group reading on January 5th, 2022, at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, go ahead and join Patreon because that is where the Zoom link will be. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy your day. All right, see you later.